Joe Angela Buckman said that today would be just like the previous day. <laughs> mm -hmm. And boy, she was right on it. Another, oh, yeah. another nice day you today. You guys Two always nail it. No problem. Well, we try. We do our best. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a nice evening to be outdoors oh, and nice. at Victory Field. Mm -hmm. Not for the Indians, however. Ooh. Indians not back in town until Tuesday. We got some great college ball uh, at you. This is uh, tweeted out earlier. This is from Indiana University. Uh, IU and Ball State taking the field, a beautiful victory field this evening. If you want to get out there and enjoy first pitch here, a couple hours away, southeast wind, uh, giving us nice, pleasant conditions. We'll be in the 70s here this evening. A perfect night for baseball, perfect night to get out in the lawn and garden. You've got the green light this evening. Most of tomorrow is in good shape here. Now, there will be a few stray showers or storms, and I'll detail that in a little bit. That leaves behind some wet grass on Thursday, and then we're staring down another batch of thunderstorms Friday. So the next two days, uh, if you didn't get a chance over this weekend uh, to get out there and enjoy it. So here's the breakdown. We're at 74 right now, south wind at 9. You probably have noticed a little uptick in the humidity. Yeah, we got dew points in the 50s right now. We made it to 75 after a morning low of 53. We still have five days to go, but we have a, we're in striking distance of a top five warmest April on record for Indianapolis. And we've got a couple more warm days before uh, we get to the end of the month here. 60 for the overnight low tonight. It won't be as cool as the last couple, but it's certainly going to be pleasant. A little more humid tomorrow, and we're going to jump into the 80s. Now, I've got a chance of a thunderstorm west and northwest of Indy. Also a chance, albeit a low one, far western Indiana, of a severe thunderstorm. It would be more of a damaging wind deal if it happens. Now, here's future track 13. So there's going to be storms back to the west of us overnight tonight. They make a run at the state line very early tomorrow morning. But this will be in a dying phase when it makes it in. But it could impact you in Lafayette, Crawfordsville, perhaps over toward Terre Haute. Should weaken before it makes it into the central part of the state. And that's why I'm saying a bunch of tomorrow is going to be just fine. And it's going to be warm. But by tomorrow night, we start to get into more thunderstorm action. And that, uh, again, should be widespread and a low chance of that uh, being severe. I think a better chance is probably going to be in Ohio heading into Thursday afternoon. After we get through Thursday, uh, Friday morning will be quiet. Then we're back to thunderstorms. We're still a few days out, but the model trend right now is looking like a wet and stormy weekend. I hope that changes. We have Race for the Cure on Saturday morning. We'll fine-tune that forecast over the next few days. All right, Sean, thanks mm -hmm. so much. We'll see you at 530.